All right, so I know it's been a minute since, I feel like it's been forever since I've posted anything, um, but it has been forever since I've gotten out any part of the collection series. I apologize in advance, guys. Your girl has been under the weather, non-COVID related. Um, but I gotta say, I'm really, really surprised how few of y'all entered the giveaway in my last video. Yeah, I did a giveaway in the last video. So if y'all are sitting there like, wait, what? Scratching your heads? Go check it out. Make sure you pay attention and watch the video all the way through. And then I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of time to get that last minute entry in. I'm going to do the giveaway, the random selection of our winner on Instagram Live on Monday the 23rd. So guys, go check it out and get your entry in. And now let's get into the video. Baby, let me change your life you want to see. You can be anything you want, baby. What's up, y'all? It's your girl and I for Kicks back with another segment of my collection series. Um, so I am wrapping up what I have as far as retro Jordans today. I don't have a lot of a lot of the 13s and 14s, so I'm gonna throw my Kobe's in there because I don't have a lot of those either. Um, but I do have a good amount of dunks that I still need to go and show y'all. So I kind of want your opinion. Obviously, put it in the comments below, y'all. What do you think? Should I do my dunks? Just another video for y'all? Or should I go live and pull them and show what I've got? That way y'all can interact with your girl a little bit more. What do you think? What is something that you would enjoy more? Just, you know, not it's not about me it's about you what would you enjoy more um and before i start pulling some 13s and 14s and kobe's why don't y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel make sure you like this video and comment below your opinions on the different pairs you know what are some pairs that maybe you think that i should add to the collection as well as guys again should i do my next little installment of this series live and show y'all what i got while y'all interact with your girl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, a shoe that's actually still dead stock in the collection, which is very rare if you know your girl. I have got the Jordan 13, the Red Flint. This for me was a no brainer when it released. Your girl was born and raised in Ohio. I am a massive Ohio State fan. So with a colorway like this, like it, it had to be in the collection. Um, again, I this one I have not worn yet, but I also, when this released, my baby sister, who's not a baby, was graduating from high school and she lives in Ohio, so this was her graduation gift as well. Obviously not this exact same shoe, um, but I did gift her this shoe as a graduation gift. It's definitely a clean shoe. Honestly, I think I'm just waiting for like the perfect fit to wear it with. Um, I'm, your girl may have to go shopping for a couple of jerseys. I got like a list of them that I want. And uh, I think I want an Ezekiel Elliott Ohio State jersey to pair with these. So not nothing crazy. It's just a twist on the classic, you know, classic Flint colorway. But I like them and I'm, I can't wait to get that outfit to rock them with. And then we've got, now these have been worn. I actually used to wear them to work when I worked in the clinic and wore scrubs because it matched perfectly. We've got the Jordan 13, the white Hyper Royal. Um, the blue was the same color as the scrubs that I wore. And since 13s are, in my opinion, one of, if not the most comfortable silhouette of retros, uh, I used to wear this shoe all the time at work, all the time. White always makes me nervous, um, you know, especially wearing it so often. But if you get your, your you know, your rejuvenator, you can protect it. Make sure that you protect it against rain and stain and all of that fun stuff. And then also make sure you grab yourself one of their cleaning kits. And here's my link below. Make sure you keep your kicks clean, guys, because white, nobody wants dirty white. That just looks gross. Protect your sneakers, guys. And then, let's see, so that's it. When I tell you I don't have a lot of 13s and 14s, I'm not kidding, like, it's not a big silhouette that I go for typically. It has to catch my eye. Um, we've got, this one is super iconic and I had to have it. I'm big on 
you know, iconic sneakers and classic colorways. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So we went with the Jordan 14, the last shot. Um, I mean, there's really not a lot for me to say. It is a very simple shoe, but if you guys know the history of this shoe, you understand why it's so iconic. Um, I will say I don't, I don't wear this one that often because I find that a uh, size seven, like grade school seven and a, a 14 silhouette runs a little bit tight, just like the, the Jordan threes do. So I like to wait until they do like a women's exclusive. And I was actually thinking about it last year. I was like, man, they would come out with a Jordan 14 women's exclusive. Like that would just be the cherry on top. And they, they came out like three back-to-back -back women's exclusives. I'm like, well, all right. So I got to pick one and that's the next shoe. But guys, again, the last shot, the Jordan 14 silhouette, definitely an iconic shoe and one to add to the collection if you can for a decent price. Um, and then we've got the last of the retro Jordans as of now, the Jordan 14 Alayli May Fortune. So obviously it is a collaboration with Alayli May. Um, she has been killing it with the collabs with Jordan Brand. Um, I would say that this is probably one of, if not my favorite collabs that she has done. Um, it's a nod to her heritage. I believe she's got some Filipino heritage um, on her, I don't know if it's her mom or dad side, but like her, her grandmothers. One is, I think one is African American and the other is Filipino. So, you know, you've got like the gold in there and then you've also got the jade details. So it's, I love a shoe with some deeper meaning to it. And this shoe has that and it's just beautiful as well. Like you guys can't tell me this is not a beautiful shoe. So I've even matched my nails to it one time and I have that posted on Instagram. So go check your girl out. But I mean, even the little, the little lace tips, the gold to match, it, it's definitely a clean shoe. And I'm so glad I added it to the collection. And your girl, of course, had to protect that beautiful suede with that rejuvenator in there. So definitely a nice shoe. Now that wraps up the um, Jordans or the retro Jordans. Um, let's go ahead and jump into Kobe's. I've got three pairs, the third of which is a little, you know, a little surprise, a little revealing moment I'm really excited for. Um, let's see, we've got the Jordan 5 Pro Tro Bruce Lee. I feel like I wear this shoe quite a bit, actually, because I feel like this is one that's an attention grabber. Like, if you're not a sneakerhead, you might just be like, ah, it's a yellow shoe. But if you're a sneakerhead, you're like, oh, she wearing the Kobe's. And I've got an amazing t-shirt that matches them so well. So I was super excited about that. It's, you know, just a classic shoe. You got the little scratches on the front. Um, if you guys are into Bruce Lee, you understand the reference, but I, I like it. It's simple with little hidden little details to it. Obviously I like it. I added it to the collection, right? And then you've got another classic. I feel like when it comes to Kobe's, I feel like I add the, like the hypest shoes. I don't know. I feel like there's so many to choose from, but these are the ones that really kind of drew me to them and that's why I chose them. So call me what you want, guys. It's okay. I added the um, Kobe 6 Pro Tro, the Grinches. I kept the laces with the green. I know a lot of people have swapped them out for the red. It gives me too much Christmas. I I get that. It's, you know, that's kind of the point. I I can't do it. I love this green. If you guys know me by now, you know I love neon. So this was a no brainer. And it just happened to be a super iconic shoe as far as Kobe's go. Um, I actually got a pretty good price on these. And it was crazy because it was right around the time that he passed. So the prices were like all over the place. Like they started dropping and then they started going back up. And you know, when you get a shoe that you want in the collection, like 
it doesn't really matter what the price does after you get it. You're just happy to have that shoe. You might sing a little bit if the, you know, if the price kind of like bottoms out, but it, it didn't do that and I'm not mad at it. I never really regret. If you're buying shoes and you end up having regret on it, um, then you might need to rethink what you're buying and what you're adding to the collection because it's supposed to be about what you love, not what holds value. So I'm just saying, guys, that's how I build my collection, but you do you. All right, y'all, so we've got another pair of the Kobe 6 Pro Tro. Um, we'll just go ahead. If you can figure out by the tag, what these are I was really really excited um this was like a like a little bit late Mother's Day gift for your girl um you know for being a an amazing stepmother um but I was really really excited to have these I I was very hesitant because of the price point and again if you guys are big into it you know what I'm talking about the price, I mean the price, we watched that price go down like crazy once they released via exclusive access on sneakers. Like those prices just dropped and then they kind of flatlined. They just hung out around like, you know, four or $500 depending on your size. And I was I was getting really, really close to pulling the trigger, but I didn't have to. And I, yes, I'm a little bit spoiled. It is what it is, but guys, I remember, I remember when this shoe, the images of this shoe surfaced like last year and people were getting this shoe instead of the Del Sol Kobe's and like by mistake, like Nike did some massive like screw up and you know, people were all upset and then Vanessa cut ties with Nike for a little bit, didn't want to deal with them, didn't like how they were running things and all of a sudden, the deal was back on and now this shoe was getting released for uh for Gigi's sweet 16. so guys if you haven't guessed what shoe this is by now it is the kobe mambasita um, it's a very simple shoe if you like something that is loud and is in your face this is probably not the shoe for you you'd probably be looking at this to try to flip i know it i get it but the detail on this shoe and what it what it represents it just there's there's so much weight and heaviness to it and i don't know i feel like a lot of people that were going for this don't really think about it like that maybe that's why this shoe meant something to me um but you do have so you've got kobe and Gigi on the back there with the little mamba symbol um and then, I don't know if you're, you're going to be able to see it very well, but tucked in there, we've got the, there we go, we've got the Mambasita little image with the little angel wings and the number two, you've got the number two for Gigi on the sides of both shoes. So it, again, if you're looking for something that really stands out, this probably isn't going to be something for you for personal, but if you're a fan or if you can really appreciate the details that go into such like a, a memorial type shoe, then you're probably going to want this. Um, it's just, there's so much to it, guys. Like, it's not even just a shoe. It's, you know, and then, I don't know, I could go on for days about this shoe and the way things played out and, you know, how people are just so worried about the money that they can get for flipping this shoe, but, I mean, I've already had my foot in this. This this shoe is going nowhere. So, yeah, the Mambasitas, I am definitely glad to have these in the collection. All right, y'all, so that's going to wrap up this episode of the Sneaker Collection series. Um... Again, guys, make sure you let me know below. Should I do the next one live? Let me know and I'll make it happen, whatever y'all prefer. It's all about you guys because without you guys, there is really no me. There's just a bunch of sneakers. And let me see. Oh, yeah, guys, um, 
if I haven't mentioned it enough times in all of my previous videos, or if this is your first time here, I will be doing a big giveaway at the end of this series. I will totally make it worth every minute of video that you guys have watched to, to tune in with your girl. I mean, I think I make it worth it anyhow, but I'll really make it worth it so you guys don't want to miss entering your opportunity for that. Um, again, it will be once I finish the entire collection. But, I mean, you guys are going to miss it if you don't hit that notification bell. And if you're not subscribed, you can't win. So you can put your entry in, but you have to be subscribed. So click those magic buttons to make sure that you get your entry in um, or that you're notified when I do it, finally. Um, let's see. What is coming out? I don't think there's anything crazy. We do have the Jordan 8, the, I'm going to butcher this name, but the Ruri uh, Hachimura coming out um, i'll go ahead and pop up an image of that shoe it does come out on monday the 23rd your girl is going for this i've been waiting for this shoe for the longest so can we get some fingers crossed and some clovers in the comments for your girl because i really need these shoes um not for me but for hubby i really really need these and then let's see what else oh yeah travis scott on his website just released the trainers what was it yesterday so it was friday that they, they released did any of y'all actually get some w's because i would love to know some actual people that got w's from his site um i took an l on both colorways but i got a t-shirt an insanely overpriced t-shirt but it's brown it's neutral i can wear it. i will wear it and i get to add a travis scott t-shirt to the collection so i was hoping it would increase my odds of winning it did not so if that's a theory i think that i've just busted it sorry guys and i think that pretty much wraps up everything um and congrats to everybody that got the military black fours that came out today i know a lot of people really wanted those so let me know, did you get some good W's recently, guys? I really hope that you did. If not, maybe you're just saving that W for something else coming out. A lot of good stuff getting ready to come out. Um, so guys, as always, keep tuning in to see what I've got in my collection.